Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today it was announced by several people uh, that you can FXZ your phone back to 902 from the ice cream sandwich leak. Um, and I'm going to test that theory today uh, because some of you guys were worried and you wouldn't flash the ice cream sandwich leak because you felt like that would take you off the upgrade path through Verizon. Um, so that's just not the case. I know that's what I said yesterday and that's what everyone thought, uh, but some people had enough guts to go ahead and try to FXZ, uh, which had not gone so well for some Razer users and Droid 4 users who tried to FXZ back to Gingerbread. They kind of break their phones. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to FXZ back to Gingerbread from the ice cream sandwich leak. So just to show you guys that we are on the leak, we go to settings and about phone. And my build number is 672231, and the Android version is 4.0.4. This will also work for the newer versions, 672232 and 2233. Um, so that should work with any of those. So all you have to do here is we're going to power down the phone. And we'll boot into Fastboot. The way that you boot into fast food is you're going to hold both volume buttons and the power button. Scroll down to AP Fast Boot and hit the up volume key. So now we're in fast boot mode. From here, we're going to open up RSD Lite. Make sure that you're running RSD Lite 5.7. And I will have the link in the description for all of the files that are needed. So we'll go ahead and plug up our phone to the computer. and set this to the side here. In this process, if you've done this before, you know it takes a while. Uh, so I'm gonna get it started and then we're gonna pause and come back to it. Uh, okay, so you're gonna select the three dots here and choose your uh, 5.9.902 FXZ file. Select open and then uncompress and start flashing. Override it, just select yes. Okay, so the it's gonna uncompress for about 15 minutes and then it's gonna flash the file for about 15 minutes. Be sure that you are at at least 50% battery. You don't want your phone to crap out while it's flashing the FXZ file. Uh, so as soon as this is finished, we will come back and I'll show you guys that we were able to get back to gingerbread from the ice cream sandwich leak. Okay guys, so we got through the first 15 processes out of 22 very quickly and at the system image it kind of slowed down. Uh, so don't fret. It's going to take about 15 minutes like it normally does. Uh, so we'll pick up as soon as it finishes. Okay guys, so when it finishes the process and gets through all 22 processes, it's going to reboot the phone as such. Now this first reboot is going to take quite a while. Um, it could take up to 15 minutes to reboot the phone. Don't unplug it here. Uh, wait until it tells you that it's finished to unplug it. We're going to let it do its thing and reboot uh, because like I said, it's going to take a while to reboot. And then I will uh, come back to it and we'll wrap up the video. So as it reboots, it's going to come back to the update screen and it's going to apply the update and then it should reboot once again into the Android operating system this time. Okay, so it finally booted back into the Android operating system. It went back to the Motorola boot logo screen and then it went to the Droid Bionic boot animation. Uh, so I'll just show you guys that we are back on Gingerbread. You can probably already tell that we are back on gingerbread. So we'll skip all this and I'll just show you guys in settings that we're back to gingerbread. Okay, so here we are. And you can already see that we're back to gingerbread. <clears throat> so we'll go into settings and about phone. And there you are. Android version is 2.3.4, system version is 5.9.902, and the FXZ worked fine. We didn't brick our device by going back to Gingerbread, so if you want to return to the official over-the-air upgrade path, uh, especially for when Verizon does release the official ice cream sandwich build, uh, this is how you will do it. And like I said, I'll make sure to put links in the description. You probably want to go to those links and give those pages a bookmark so you'll always have those files available. Uh, and anyhow, if you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Give this video a big thumbs up. Also, check out droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.